So here we are. We're about 10 minutes out from Vinendal. Place where we started today. On our bike ride. About 77 kilometers to Exanten in Germany. It'll take us about anywhere from four to seven hours, depending on how much we get lost. Because this guy's directing us. Yeah, I, uh, <laughs> we'll see. Nah, we'll be fine. So yeah, we've got, I don't know, a big enough time frame just for a bit of a chill ride, a bit of a long one, but a bit of fun as well. We've packed up all the bikes as well. Oh yeah. Got some bags in the back. Mine are down there. They got one on the side too. There, probably. Yeah, one on the back as well. So we've got food for the next uh, 24 hours. Yeah. yeah. The next day today and the next day tomorrow when we'll be cycling back. So just a night trip, nothing too big. Yeah, it'll be fun to see Germany and cycle across the border because you can do that in Europe, it's great. So yeah, come back with another update soon. Are you looking for something? Are you searching for someone else? You say I feel better at midnight Because the moon is your only friend And I want you back for a bit because we're in the markets now um, so yeah. we're not doing much riding to avoid hitting pedestrians so we're following these signs up there it says 83 so we'll probably go around this little market here So here we are, um, we stopped for a bit of a snack, not really lunch, it's 1.40 right now. You already ate at 11. Yeah, we so. had a bit of an early lunch. So we're having a snack now, I don't know what these are called. Susaisa brokers. Susaisa bread. Nice. It's really good stuff. Um, it's supposed to heat it up, but <laughs> you can't really do that at the moment. Here's our current Strava stuff, it auto pauses the ride when we're not moving. But we're an hour 40 minutes in. 27 kilometers or 28 almost an average speed of 17 so yeah it's not too bad we've got a very nice view of the dike here um yeah there's not much else really refueling our energy a bit and let's show you the the setup while we're at it so that's my bike down there it's got my camel back in it and a few other things this is ezra's stuff here he's got his bag here with some clothes and stuff water there some more snacks in here What's in this one, mate? Uh, I think it's clothes and stuff. Cool. Clothes. Then what I've got here, food on this side, um, and then clothes and stuff in there. So yeah, the bikes are fine. Obviously, the saddle is quite worn already, so it's not the most comfortable thing. 
and it yeah. is already causing a bit of uncomfortability. Yeah, that's a word. Um, yeah, I guess we'll finish eating and then back on the road. to set foot into Germany. Three to the right. Three to the right, we need to go this way. Three right? Uh, two, three, yeah. All right. All right. So yep, this thing over Bob here is Netherlands. And this is Germany. Woo! Look at that. Runde Strasse. There you go. All right, let's take a few photos. Oh, geez. Here. We'll leave the bike. No, we won't. We'll set them up. And yeah, we made it to Germany. Great. And now we just got to continue riding until we get to a hotel. All right, time for some photos. Allied Axis. Allied. Probably a few more hundred meters. You're supposed to say, yeah, actually. Sure. Okay, right? Yeah. Woo! -hoo! There it is! There it is! Oh, it's glorious! Landhaus Spickerman. Here we are. We have made it. Woo, let's go. All right, now we've got to find a place to park. Do an analysis of our trip from Strava. So here you can see total distance 93.48, elevation gain 102 meters, which was pretty easy. There was hardly any hills. Riding time, five hours 40. Average speed 16.5, but we weren't really aiming for anything. We were just plodding along, so it doesn't really matter. Max elevation 34, so yeah, this is hardly anything. And this is a bit odd, 70.3 kilometers an hour. I have no clue how we did 70 kilometers an hour. I don't think we did. Uh, something must have gone wrong there. Strava bugs out every now and then. But yeah, here's the map. So we started in Wienendal, in the Netherlands, rode along some rivers, crossed a few rivers, got to Arnhem, pretty cool place there. And then down all the way across the river there, down into Exanten. Then I went for a little walk along the lake and the rivers here. See so yeah, a pretty good ride. Yeah. Here we are, fine. 
finally back in Bean and Dog. It's been a bit of an interesting day today. As we rode back to Arnhem. Wait, no. A bit before Arnhem. Zavenar. Yeah. We got a train Zavenar fine. The bikes were fine. Then when we tra changed trains at Arnhem, the first train we couldn't fit on. So we're like, okay, we've got to wait half an hour for the next train. We waited half an hour. The second train came. We were too late to get on, so all the spots filled up. Um, we were just too full anyway, so missed that. Had to wait another half an hour. And the third train, we kind of squished our way through. And the dogs working out. Yeah, so kind of. it worked out in the end. We're about, I don't know, 10 minutes, 15 minutes out from Vienendal now. So, well, back to where we're staying in Vienendal. House. <laughs> oh yes. Finally, home stretch. After 150, I don't know what's it, what it's at now. Something like that. We are home. Yay. All right, that's the end of the vlog now. Roll the end credits. 